my name is Debrina. Um, my son's name is Cairo. He is five years and 10 months. So Cairo was diagnosed with autism when he was a little less than two years old. At the time, uh, Cairo had been speaking uh, for the first year and a half of his life. I remember thinking he was um, pretty far advanced um, in speech speaking as compared to my older son. And um, then around 19 months or so, he just uh, stops stop talking. So he was diagnosed by developmental pediatrician uh, with autism, not a specific level. Um, but as I mentioned, primarily the symptoms we were seeing are definitely were in um, his verbal communication, uh, but also receptive communication. He sort of um, didn't have the ability to really understand what we were saying at all. Things like what he wanted to eat or even when we wanted to leave the home or, or even to take a bath. These weren't skills that he had or could understand once he lost the communication. So the interactions with his brother um, became rather challenging um, once he was diagnosed. Essentially, his brother had a hard time really understanding how he could communicate still with him. I think one thing I didn't mention that's important to note, you know, just his social skills. Children were sort of just not there for him, just not present. Um, so children that wanted to reach out and play with him at daycare, um, Cairo just didn't take to them at all. He didn't, he couldn't understand. So after Cairo was diagnosed, um, I think we had to first mentally, I would say, um, wrap our own brains around it. We did do different things like early childhood intervention classes, things like that. We introduced him to ABA, speech therapy. Anything that really could have helped Cairo was what we were after for sure at the time. So I just joined a number of Facebook groups, some very local ones. I think at times like this, you sort of just wanna feel like you're not alone. <laughs> and um, that's what the Facebook groups gave me. I had conversations actually with parents that I'd met on the group and in the Facebook group, um, asked for separate conversations, had phone conversations actually, not just chats to talk about really the good, bad, and the ugly. And um, that, that was my first introduction to stem cells. But I think one thing that's really important to note is it wasn't all, you know, I'm always kind of very leery about, you know, who, um, so, so many positive reviews. I'm always just very skeptical. Is this real? I think there are very honest um, reactions um, in the group. Um, and nevertheless, though, I still found that so many people were having such success that it was definitely worth exploring more. So we, um, after the very first treatment in Panama, you, you know, I, I actually saw some immediate gains on, a, on the way home. It was really pretty funny. It was a hard ride back. Um, <laughs> Cairo was jumping in his chair saying, I'm jumping like a spaceship or something. These are um, more words than I had heard him say in quite some time. So it was like more like a light bulb, like things were coming back. So his receptive language change um, was really miraculous. It was about a 180 degree change, you know, from where we came to where we are, he can understand anything that we're saying. Definitely we saw improvement in expressive language. He's learning, he's trying. Um, just the recognition of, the ch of children was huge to us. When he's ready to go to school in the morning, he said, I'm going to see friends, is what he said. Even his interactions with his brother um, are drastically improved. You know, although the love for each other has always been there, I think that they're able to interact a little bit differently now um, due to Cairo's you know, and I'll say it's not a newfound skill, but you know, I'll call them restored skills. I have to say um, my interactions at the clinic have never been anything but positive. I have answers to my questions right away, whether I'm here or there. 
Um, and what I love, I have to say, is the doctor that Pyro had at uh, three years and 10 months is the same doctor he had on our, our most recent visit. And it's so interesting because everyone at the clinic just sort of remembers us in a way. And, and that feels really special to me. There's a sense of that sense of familiarity. Everyone is extremely warm. The doctors, the nurses, they just get a kick out of Cairo and he just loves them. Uh, so I couldn't be uh, happier with my interactions with the clinic. Specifically to see Cairo have these gains uh, coming from where we did, it gave us hope, quite honestly. Um, you know, what we want for him is what every parent wants for their child. Um, we want him to be able to live the most fulfilled life um, and be able to live out his dreams. We are just so proud and I'm so happy to have found this community. So for any other parents who have been on the fence, I would love to just say, you know, do it. <laughs> but you know what? I liked my approach. Research, join the Facebook group, reach out to the clinic, ask questions. My family has zero regrets uh, for introducing our son to stem cells. We do feel like it's been a game changer for us. I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that works at the Stem Cells Institute. Thank you.